Hello, and welcome to today's episode of the Best Today podcast. Today, we are talking about five of the biggest misunderstandings or misperceptions, misconceptions about routine. As you know, all month long, we have been celebrating, educating on routine in the midst of what we are calling routine palooza. If you've never heard of that and that's all new to you, you can notice the episodes 9, 10, 11 that preceded this episode are all about routine and I actually created them to be listened to in order. So I recommend going back to listen to episode 9, 10, or 11, especially if you're new to routines and the way in which I teach it. Also, make sure to check out our YouTube channel, which you can find at besttodaytv.com, which will also be linked in today's show notes at besttodayguide.com forward slash 12. That's besttodayguide.com forward slash 12, because this is episode 12. Um, You can find our videos under our routine playlist. Uh, We've got some excellent videos there as well. If you're a visual learner or if you just want to take what you're learning here and keep going, Uh, we have new content in different places. So we are in the midst, like I mentioned, of Routine Palooza, where we are celebrating an entire month of really understanding and learning about routine. It's my intention and my hope that at the end of this month, that you have rid yourself of any misunderstandings about routine, that you have a true understanding of what it is, what its function is, and that you desire to learn how to create your routine so that I can teach you how to create your routine using my taco method, which I teach in one place and only one place. And that is inside of Right Now Routine, which you can find at rightnowroutine.com. That's rightnowroutine.com. Learn how to create a taco. Um, I mean, who doesn't love a taco? Um, And that's the method in which I teach women how to create routines that last. Um, We've had thousands of women who have really been transformed by this content, which is short, less than one hour. So to learn more about that, I want you to definitely don't forget to go to rightnowroutine.com. In fact, if you want to pause me now, go to rightnowroutine.com or open up a computer, go to rightnowroutine.com while you listen. Make sure you get signed up for that today. If you're listening, in real time, that's also going to get you this week. Am I right? Yeah, this Thursday, May 27th, 2021, a ticket to Right Now Routine Live. And it's going to be so good. Okay, now let's get down to business. In this episode, I am going to talk about five of the most prevailing misunderstandings and misperceptions about routine that I have seen. So in episode 10, I talked about the underlying root of most complaints about routine. Please, 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 please stop this episode and go listen to that episode if you haven't yet. It's so good and it's so revealing and it's so important. Um, But I talk about um, fear and how that is at the root of a lot of what people complain about, even if you don't realize it. And so I help break it down so you can see that. I talk about uh, fear of losing control, um, avoiding discomfort, and it's just so good. So listen to episode 10 if you haven't. Um, And, you know, to add on to that, I want to share things that perhaps you've thought about routine and I want to clear out some of those misperceptions there. These are the responses I get Every time I do a poll and ask people about routine, these misperceptions come up in the questions every single time. So today I'm giving people one place I can send them to and say, you know what? Go listen to episode 12 where I talk about that exact misperception. So number one, the very first misperception about routine is that routine means sameness, monotony, rigid and boring. Like if you're going to do a routine, it's just the same thing every day over and over. Okay. So this is probably one of the biggest objections that I hear. Uh, It's the biggest basis for a lot of people saying, you know what? No, thank you to routine. And perhaps that's the way you've tried to, um, maybe that's perhaps the way you've thought about routine before, but here's what it is. It's most likely the way you've tried to implement routine in the past that makes this feel true to you, right? Um, But the truth about routine, about healthy routines is that They're life-giving. They allow more space, more fun, more excitement in your life. You can very easily use routine to create more space, right, in your day in life for fun things that you love. Routines do not have to be the same thing every day, day after day after day after day. Routines don't have to be rigid. You can decide when you follow the routine and when you don't, as I shared um, in episode 10, 
And remember, even routines that you do not want to do, like, or, you know, like you said, these routines are around things you have to do, but they're not your favorite things, but you know, you got to do them. So you might as well make a routine and knock them out. Right. Just knowing that you have this simple routine set around the thing you have to do so that you can efficiently do it so that you can then make time to get to the things you need, you want to do is really something that's exciting, right? It's like, well, okay, I have to do this thing. We all got to do it. Um, but I have this routine that helps me not forget to do it, helps me do it efficiently. And because of that, now I have more time for the things that I do love to do, right? So no, routines do not have to be the same all day, every day. No, routines are not rigid. You get to make the rules. You make the rules you play by. How can something be rigid if you have the ability to soften it, to change it, to stop it? And they definitely don't have to be boring. Remember, you are the designer of your routine. Even routines that are things that are... um not your favorite thing to do. You create them because you understand the purpose of this is to make more space for the things I want to do, right? Routines work for you, not the other way around. So that's misperception number one. Number two is that routine blocks creativity. Now I know for a fact that this is false, not only because of my own life, but I've worked with so many creatives who have found more freedom to create, more space to create, more time to create. I have one student who wrote an entire book after I gave her a routine, um, after having writer's blocks for months, um, you get more freedom because you imp- when you implement routine into your life, right? There is, I believe, so much genius and creativity in all of us. But we usually can't tap into that level of that that really rich, substantive, deep, beautiful genius and creativity because our minds are swirling every single day with the day-to-day, all the responsibilities, all the to-dos, all um, the things that, you know, it's like every time I take off one thing on my list, here comes another, the things, this list I can never get down to zero. All of that is swirling in your brain 24 seven. And because of that, a lot of your creativity is blocked by the cares of life. You can't hear them. You can't have the space to, to, to really tap into it because there's so much stuff going on. Well, routines can help to carve out and clear out time so that you can tap into that creativity and help you get a handle on the things that are swirling in your mind. You know, routine can do that. And routine then gets a lot of those swirlies out of your mind um, so that you can then tap into more creativity. So I know for a fact, this misperception is completely wrong. I've seen it be true in my life and the many, many others. And so if you're looking for space to be more creative and to tap into that creativity, I want to tell you that routine actually is probably a fantastic solution for you because until we can calm down all the swirlies in our mind and hear, like just really hear what's, what's back there. What's like, I have this genius idea. I have this great idea. I have this beautiful painting. I have this, um, musical that you are supposed to write. That's going to be like the next Hamilton, you know, you won't hear from any of that if you don't make the space and routines can help you to do that. So routine does not block creativity. It actually does the complete opposite. Best Today, we exist to help women just like you be your best one today at a time. So each week on the podcast, we are going to highlight your stories and your voices. So let's see what's in the inbox today. Hi, Shantae. My name is Whitney and I am from San Diego, California. I have been using the Best Today guide for a while now. I'm on my second one. And something I started doing recently was to begin asking my family what their best today looks like at the breakfast table. And it's been a really fun and interesting experience, especially with my six-year-old son. A lot of the times um, he prioritizes playing, which of course he should, he's six. And then we talk about how he can do things that will help him get more playtime and what things he might be doing that would not help him get playtime. So it's been a really fun exercise going through that with him. And even in the moments where we both kind of lose sight of our best and we have a, he has a hard time listening. I have a hard time setting my expectations to his age level. Um, When we talk about it and repair later, we both realize we didn't do our best in that moment, but we have so many more moments 
to do our best um, for ourselves and for each other. And so that's been um, a very, I guess, fulfilling experience so far. So thank you, Shante, for creating this product and creating um, all the resources that you have to help all of us be more intentional with our time, even um, my six-year-old son. Whitney, I love that so, so much. Um, Here's the thing that I have found to be true, that things as simple as routine and planning and being intentional can start as early as with your six-year-old. I've seen it even in very small ways with my very own two-year-old and eight-year-old. And so that just makes me so happy to hear that you incorporate that um, part of our mission and message here at Best Today and your breakfast table, asking the people in your family, what does your best look like today? And just having that discussion, and that's going to stick with your child as they grow older and remembering that. Um, So that just brings me so much joy. Thank you so much for sharing your experience with the Best Today Guide and how you're pulling aspects from the Best Today Guide and pouring it into your home. If you want to learn more about the Best Today Guide, about what we do and how we can help you be proactive and intentional with your time, I want to invite you to go to besttodayguide.com right now to learn more about the Best Today Guide and all the things and programs that we have to offer to you right now where you are to help you be proactive and intentional with your time because our time is the structure, that capsule in which our lives happen, our days happen. So thank you again, Whitney, for sharing that wonderful story and your experience as well um, as you use the Best Today Guide and our products um, and really just help to carry out our mission in this earth, which is to help women be proactive and intentional with their time so you can show up as your best one today at a time. So visit besttodayguide.com right now to learn more about the Best Today Guide and all that we have to offer. That's besttodayguide.com. Number three in a similar line is that routine takes away your flexibility. Y'all, you have the choice when it comes to routine. You know, at least once a week, at least once a week, we push back on our evening routine because something comes up that we want to, and we want to continue enjoying ourselves. Whether it's because we're taking a longer walk because the weather is so nice, um, an impromptu trip to go get cookies, we do that often. Um, or we just decided, let's, let's watch a movie. So routine is the stable friend that is there for us. But we also we always know that sometimes we just won't need it that day because we're living in the moment. We're enjoying what's happening here. But the beautiful part is that we know that tomorrow I can turn right back and there's that stable, loyal friend, that routine that we can go right back to um, and just start. Or we can say, we're going to do this and push the routine back later, but we can jump right back into it when we're ready to get back to it at a later date or time or a different location. You know, routines give you flexibility because you are in control. And what I love most is that it's there, right? The routine is there waiting for you when you're ready to return back to it, whether it's in a day, in a week, in a season. You know, there may be a season where you say this season, this routine, not gonna fly, doesn't work, not for us. But guess what? When we're ready to pick it back up, we know what it is. It's right there. It's that stable, dependable friend. So there's flexibility in that. I just can't tell you how many times we've just, let's go get cookies. And it's like, oh, dinner starts in 20 minutes, but guess what? We're going to go get cookies anyway. And we'll pick up on the evening routine when we get back home. So that's number three, that routine takes away flexibility. Not correct. Incorrect, in fact. And number four, routine just becomes more that I have to add to my already long to-do list. Routines just become another part of my to-do list. I've heard that one. And listen, okay, you listening? Are you listening? If you have ever thought this, I urge you, like urge you, implore you to get into right now routine right now. It is very clear that somewhere along the line, you have, someone has made you think differently. I hope it was not me, um, has really helped you not, like not, what's the words I'm looking Someone has basically led you astray, right? You don't understand what routine is. And I'm scared for you trying to implement them because it sounds like you're not doing it right at all if you think that routine just becomes a part of a to-do list. First of all, I feel some kind of way about to-do lists in general, but um, I want to teach you how to actually create them using the TACO method. So make sure you go to rightnowroutine.com. That's number one. Number two, 
routines aren't another like thing to do. Like, oh, it's just a thing I got to do, right? Um, they're not a list of things you do just because. Routines are premeditated actions, right? Proactive, we talked about that, um, that add to the flow of your day, your time, your life. So even if your routine involves doing something that you need to do, but you don't love doing, like I talked about earlier, you can see how it benefits your time and benefits your life, right? A lot of the things, I mean, think of there are things in our lives we have to do. Not most people absolutely love cleaning their toilets or, you know, mopping their floors or folding their laundry or doing their taxes or talking to their accountant about their taxes. There are things we got to do in life that we just don't like, but it's got to be done. Washing dishes. Some people love all those things I just mentioned. Fantastic for them. But a lot of us don't. But there are things we have to do. And sometimes we create routines around those things that we don't absolutely love to do. But it doesn't become a part of our to-do list. It's This is a part of the bigger picture so that I can get this thing done. I can remember it. I can give it the space it needs and only the space it needs so that all the other space is for all the other things that I want to do, right? Your routine isn't just a list of things to get done. And that's what I really want you to understand. I need you to see, and that's why episode nine is so important. Going back, I keep going back to this and I will always go back to this, understanding the purpose and the function and what routine really is. Healthy routine is really vital in order in carrying them out well in your life. You have to understand that purpose and the function of what it does, okay? Because if you can't make a connection between the routines you have and the life you want and the person you are or want to be, we need to stop that and and work and fix that problem, right? Because it's not going to last. So your routine, again, is not a list of things to do. Um, What happens when you look at it that way is it leads you to becoming a robot. And you're just like, I'm just doing the routine over and over, not really helping Or you end up hating routine or both. And that's not what I want to happen for you. So first of all, go learn about the taco at rightnowroutine.com and let's dispel that misperception. That is not what a routine is. Go back again and listen to episode nine where I break down what routine actually is. And the last one, number five, um, you have to do all your routines every day, all the time. That's how routines work, right? That's another misperception about routine. Here is the truth. Not all routines are done every day. Some may be. And that choice is all up to you. Notice how I keep telling you about the choices, right? Don't worry about this lack of control. We hear what I talked about in episode, was it 10, where I talked about the fears behind it? Yeah, uh, we hear a lot of that, even in these misperceptions. You know, for me, my morning routine is a staple. I do it every single day, but it looks different on some mornings. Some mornings, my morning routine can be as short as 10 minutes and others, I have had a morning routine that lasted three hours, right? It just depends on the day. The core principles are the same regardless of 10 minutes versus three hours. I'm doing what I need to do for me in the morning and for the day ahead. I'm focused a lot on my mental health, my emotional health, my physical health and my morning routine, but the application looks differently or it can look differently. You know, some routines are seasonal. They're performed only when a specific event or day or thing happens. So no routines are not all day, every day, okay? The two um, that I think, one of the reasons I think people think this way is that there are two routines that you hear the most about, right? Morning and evening routines. But I want you to know that there are thousands upon thousands of iterations of routine that can exist that are not morning routines, not evening routines. Those are just two you hear about a lot. And I think people then give that personality of a morning and an evening and think, well, every day there's a morning and an evening. So I must do routines every day. No. Okay. There's just so much more to routine than morning and evening routines. And actually a good place to learn more about that is on our YouTube channel where I have a video and I walk you through just, I think about 12 examples of different types of routines to show you how unique they can be. And they're even more expansive than the 12 I show you. But if you go to besttodaytv.com and go to our routine playlist, you'll see that video there. If you have found yourself thinking that, okay, well, routines are either morning or evening, that might not even be the first routine you need right now. Um, there may be a routine that's better, that's going to have a better um, reward. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, return on investment, right? In time than either of those. So I want you to look beyond those two. 
And if you're ready to learn how to create those routines that work for you, routines that last, routines that are not boring or mundane, then I want you to stop what you're doing right now, unless you're driving, and go to rightnowroutine.com or running. Um, And if you're running, tell me, because I cannot listen to a podcast while I run. But anyway, that's another story. Um, I want you to go to rightnowroutine.com and then I want you to read the testimonials. See the stories of women who have found that there is life with routine. And particularly the way that I teach it with the taco method, you can go to rightnowroutine.com, which is also linked in today's show notes at besttodayguide.com forward slash 12. And join us all month long for Routine Palooza if you're listening in real time and continue to learn more about routine. I just want to make sure that you understand clearly what routine is. If you're going to decide that, nope, don't want any part of it, I want that to be an educated decision and not one based in fear or ignorance or doubt in yourself and your capabilities. That is really my intention. It is not to persuade everyone in the world to to become a routine believer, um, but to help those of you who truly do desire to be proactive and intentional with your time and show you this is one of the ways to do it. And it can be as unique and individual as you are because routines are created for unique individuals. And so everyone's routines looks differently, okay? So those are the five most perceptions that I wanted to share with you about routine. If you've heard one that you've thought of before, let me know by tagging us over on Instagram at Best Today Brand and let me know you're listening. Or as always, you can always email us at besttoday at shantaygrant.com or leave us a message at besttoday guide.com forward slash voice, all of which are linked in the show notes at besttodayguide.com forward slash 12. And as always, I am so honored that you have shared your time and attention with me for this episode of the Best Today podcast. Until next time, please remember that you are capable and worthy of being your best one today at a time, and that you already have everything you need to have everything you want. So go on and shout it out as you live it out every single day, one today at a time. This is what my best today looks like. Talk to you again real soon. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Best Today podcast, you are going to love the Best Today Guide. Our Better Than a Planner guide teaches you how to get clear on what you want, identify your self-destructive habits and behaviors, and intentionally create space to prioritize yourself every single day. Don't go the journey to being your best one today at a time without the Best Today Guide. See inside its pages and order yours today at besttodayguide.com. Even better, when you order the Best Today Guide, we gift you with your first month free inside of the Best Today membership. So what are you waiting for? We're giving you everything you need to trade busy for intention. Go to besttodayguide.com and order yours today and join thousands of women across the globe proclaiming each day, this is what my best today looks like.